Bank of America warns of a major sell-off in the stock market. Jobless claims held steady last week and retail sales unexpectedly rise as the Federal Reserve holds rates steady for now. Joining us is former White House economic advisor to discuss this, Steve Moore. Good morning to you, Steve. Great to see you. Thank you, Ann. First, let's talk about Bank of America warning that we could see this major sell-off in the near future. What can we expect, Steve, if, if this does in fact happen? Well, if I knew what was going to happen to the stock market, I'd be a very rich, rich person. And, you know, I will say this, that there have been a lot of false, uh, you know, predictions of doom on the economy over the last this year, Jan. This is true. Uh, so you remember at the end of last year, almost all these big uh, Wall Street investment firms were saying that we were going to have a recession. Yep. Uh, and we didn't have a recession. Uh, there have been a lot. Of, there's been a lot of talk about stock sell-offs. Now, 2022 was a lousy year for stocks. Uh, we, you know, the stocks lost 15 to 20 percent of their value. But this year has been a, a, a strong year so far. So I can't really answer your question where the stock market is headed. It's been a real uh, roller coaster ride. Um, but I will say this, that you mentioned the fact that the jobless claims numbers came in about where they were before. So the jobs are still out there, Jan. I've said this week after week after week on your show. Uh, the problem still is, you know, the inflation rate is still too high, although that's coming down a bit as well. Speaking of stocks, Steve, the S&P 500 did enter sort of a, a bull run last week after the Fed announced uh, its interest uh, rate pause there. What is driving this, this bull market for stocks now? Well, uh, I think that there's some of the real concerns about a you know deep recession have been alleviated. The economy's you know been resilient. I think I, that's the word I would use. Now, is it strong? No, it's not strong, but it's it doesn't appear right now as if uh, you know consumers are spending. Uh, try to buy an airline ticket. Try yeah, to yeah, I know. Uh, you know, try to get a re uh, reservation to a restaurant. People are spending, Jan. Now, here's my concern. I've said this over and over that people are spending a lot, but their earnings are not keeping up with inflation. So I am worried about this increase in debt, not just the national debt, which is now at $32 trillion, but also consumers are borrowing more, Jan, to maintain their living standards. So credit card debt which is a terrible way to borrow because you know you're going to pay 20 percent interest if you don't pay your credit card uh, uh, bill on time that credit card debt is now over a trillion dollars i mean when you think about that just that number that that trillion yeah. dollar number yeah what what will this do to the economy in the future if this cannot be paid back well first of all for the individual borrowers you're going to get in one of those cycles where you're just paying more and more credit card that just to pay the interest on that debt. As I was saying earlier, sometimes they could charge you as much as 25% interest on that credit card debt. So my advice to, to your viewers is, if you have to borrow, don't borrow on your credit card. That's just a lousy way to um, amass debt. But people probably have to you know, rein in their spending a bit because inflation is still an issue. Uh, um, you know, I just went to the grocery store with my wife uh, last night. I, I was shocked at how much still things cost. Yeah. Everything from uh, inflation you know, uh, still out of control. It is still out of is, control, exactly. as we know. But the Federal Reserve did say that we can expect two more interest rate hikes for 2023. Although they did pause it for now. Do you agree with the pause when you when you go to the grocery store and you see just how high prices still are? I think infl the inflation problem is not over. It is better. I mean, gas prices are down, but guess what? Gas prices are still 50%, 40 to 50% higher than they were when Biden came into office. So there's been a bit of a reprieve, but I'll tell you this, I think the number one thing for our country right now is to, to do something about this massive national debt. And just in the last 12 months, the United States government borrowed $2.1 trillion. That's a, look, that's just unsustainable. I think everybody knows it. We have to do something about uh, this out of control government spending. I think it's the the virus right now that's really negatively affecting the economy. Yeah, and the virus that's happening, as you said, not just in the government, but in our own citizens and our own American population where they are also borrowing money they don't have to pay for some of those expenses. We need to move back towards a kind of saving ethic in this country. You know, what was Benjamin Franklin said? A penny saved is a penny earned. Former White House economic advisor. We'll leave it at that. Steve Moore, always great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week. Have a great day. Thank you.